guys so much for checking out my channel today. I am so excited to be doing this Riverdale series. I cannot wait to show you the thoughts that are going on in my head. I love the makeup on this show. I think that CoverGirl, um, their makeup artists are incredible. Like I just am so excited to watch the show just mainly not because it's just a good show but because of the makeup in it and the hair I'm like blown away by it so I'm super excited to start this series with Betty she is one of my favorite characters I love her so much and I think that her makeup is so classically beautiful and just very simple it's not a lot um, today's tutorial is not very long but I love it so much and I hope you guys love it too and that you continue to watch the series that I do on this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, okay? Thank you guys. All right, so I'm going to start with priming my face with um, the Sephora primer. I haven't found like a favorite primer. I feel like they all work pretty much the same. Um, so if you guys find one that you just are obsessed with, then let me know in the comments below. I prefer setting sprays. I just see the most efficiency in a setting spray, but I know primers smooth out the skin and they can minimize pores, things like that. So they are helpful to have. This Too Faced palette is so fun. I mean, it's natural colors, but this is perfect for a Betty look because she really um, just is enhanced through her makeup. It's nothing crazy, no smoky eye or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this medium brown color, I'm gonna take a blending brush and I'm gonna rub that back and forth on the crease of my eye, trying to keep it specifically in the crease area. She has a little bit of a, um, I like to call it the Audrey Hepburn eye to where like their crease is more set into their eye, so it's a deeper crease. I don't have that, so I almost have to fake a deep crease. So I have to load on the color to build and build upon that crease, whereas they probably don't have to do that because they already have that effect naturally through their face. <laughs> then I'm gonna take this creamy white color, I'm going to place that on the dome of my eye, so right under the crease work that we just did. Guys, this is nothing crazy, and it doesn't even have to be that clean. It's just about putting the right colors in the right spots and a natural look, so nothing crazy. Now I'm going to take a clean blending brush. I'm just gonna go back over the crease work to make sure there's no harsh lines, and also the lighter color that we just put on, I don't want it to get too high into the crease, so I wanna make sure that the crease is blended. I feel like it's been so long since I've done a voiceover. My voice sounds groggly to me, and it's bothering me, but I really realized that um, the voiceovers really help with understanding the process, so I'm gonna go back to doing them because I feel like they're way more helpful than just showing you guys the steps. I gotta talk you through it too. That's just how I learn. That's how a lot of people learn, so I'm gonna get back into it. So now we're going to move on to the face. I'm just going to take my concealer. I'm gonna create a V. going to take my silicone sponge and blend that upwards and out. I'm just putting my foundation onto my hand. I put about three pumps of my foundation and I'm blending that upwards in circular motions and blending my neck. Everything is going to be blent, if that's the word. Now for her contour. She doesn't have a lot of deep contour, so she's not gonna look like Kim Kardashian. I did just want to add a little bit of contour because I believe that it brings warmth to the face 
and though she doesn't have a deep contour, she does have a warm tone to the face. So I'm just going to put that gently on, nothing crazy, um, and blend that upward into my hairline. Then I'm going to take my blush. I have this dusty pink color and it's just perfect because she's very rosy cheeked and just very glowy. It's a, such a pretty look. Um, so I'm just going to blend that upwards on the apples of my cheeks and add some highlight. Again, nothing too dark highlight wise. She has a very fresh face. Um, she's wearing makeup, but it's not the focal point, which I love. I love when somebody just has a natural beauty about them. So once the face is done, I'm going to go in and do my brows now. I have been obsessed with this Gimme Brows um, by Benefit. It's in the mascara form and I love it because I can do it right before work. It takes me about five seconds to do my brows. It's just like putting mascara on your brows. So it's super efficient and quick and it's also very natural. Moving on to the eyeliner, I'm taking this bronze eyeliner pencil and I'm going to work it from the outer corner of my eye in stroking motions towards the inner corner of my eye and then I'm going to also do the same thing for under my eye. Then we are taking this smudge brush and what I'm going to do is just go over the eyeliner that we just did so it's not a harsh line and it's all blended. This is just going to give a really pretty effect to outline your eye um, but it's not going to be a harsh line. For this look, really plump up your lashes. That is going to be the main focal point of this look is your eyes. So you want to have really lush lashes in this look. So just go over as many times as you want to with that mascara. Just make sure that you are really um, moving that brush back and forth and then pulling your lashes up with the brush. So moving on to lips, Betty has, and yes, my lipstick did just break in to my hand. That is awesome. I actually got this color at the dollar store, and hence why it popped off. All right, so just apply the um, pinkish colored lip. She has a really pretty pink, glossy look. Um, so just apply that and you have become Betty Cooper. All right guys, so that was the look. Really straightforward and simple but beautiful at the same time. I love Betty's makeup look. I love the scene where she's looking out the window and she's talking to, I won't give any spoilers, she's just talking to somebody on the phone. She's looking out the window and you get a close up on her makeup and what I love is that it's so detailed even though very natural. It's just so detailed. So be looking out for that. Let me know who you guys think this person, no, no spoilers, I'm sorry, who this person is. Let me know. I want to know. So I love spoilers. Put it in the comments below. Thanks guys and be looking out for the other videos on this series. It's really hot in this sweater. We have the heat on. It's too much. I'm dying. <laughs>